Hi everyone, it's Raziel Kane. I'm back with the fourth uh, review in the Jinbao series. A fantastic set. Uh, the more I play with it, the more I love it. And today we're going to look at, uh, take a look at Greg Berger. I mean, long haul. Uh, fantastic truck mode. Love it. The robot mode is really good, but the truck is beefy. I mean, you get the feeling that it, this is a, uh, you know, a mining truck. Something you see in huge open pit mine and looks really good the face sculpt very different uh, you know the color is uh, different than uh, every other uh, constructed on uh, so that's you know originality in figures it's always fun uh, he has a little problem uh, holding his weapon but uh, yeah not bad and he's very solid and for the crotch piece I guess you have to be so I'm excited to review this guy today Just put back here there you go uh, so yeah, it's uh, the fourth one in the Junbao series, uh, moving uh, forward to do the Devastator eventually. And uh, yeah, I'm very happy to um, have acquired this set uh, uh, upon recommendation from Kato. Thanks for stopping by, hopefully you still enjoy this series. Uh, you'll also check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm super proud of. And don't forget to get your uh, DJC collectible code at the end of the video. Uh, fantastic sponsor. So without further delay, let's uh, take a look at uh, Long Haul. Remove! Remove! Always remove! I didn't join this outfit to be a dump truck! Okay, um, he's a little loose at the feet, so if you, you know, he, uh, well not loose, but he's back heavy, but the feet do hold him. So, yeah. Um, great help scope. I like uh, the, the whole uh, silver, uh, silver head, and let's uh, take a look right now at the light piping. Looks really good on him. There you go. Accessory, you have the chest plate for Devi, but you can also use this somehow as a, uh, a shield like this, or maybe a, not a shield, but a missile uh, pod. So you put that peg and you put it here like this, but his hands are a little loose. So the gun and this, which I guess is a cannon, uh, don't hold the really well uh, on this guy every other figure the guns hold uh, pretty nice but this one i mean it does the job but uh, sometimes uh if you play with it it just uh, kind of falls apart but he's still my uh, third favorite i like the uh the look of him he's imposing he's fun uh the instructions will uh be pretty much what we've seen so far red on green so little parts sometimes for me they are hard to spot but I do okay so there you go let's remove the accessories they come off really easy now for the uh, details of the figure I like his, uh, his color scheme again the standard green uh, in the box or in the package it came with these little stairs which you simply uh, peg here and it doesn't affect information so you can leave it there uh, he has some good articulation he's solid uh, like I said he kind of feels like he's gonna go backwards but that's pretty good and these these things here are super annoying because in some mode they tell you to put it this way and then it just falls on the side so I always put it uh, upward so that the joint is up and uh, but in Devi mode they want you to put it backwards and I don't understand why so I don't do it uh, all right so articulation uh, he has a very good um, uh, ferris wheel uh, you have the elbow uh, joint at the shoulder and then you have a more than 90 oh he goes backward quite a bit too so and then the hand you have this because of transformation you have this joint that opens up like this uh, but you when it pegs in properly you do have um, a rotation two rotation it rotates once and then it rotates twice 
and which way there you go that's the proper way i think uh these things always move those i don't know arm guards uh you have the nice skirt you have one in the back too details are pretty good uh, the back cover cleans up pretty nicely i mean you have those hold because of the arms but when you put this down it doesn't show that much so that's always good and uh the you have a i think you do hold on you have a waist rotation yep oh no ratchet on this one looks really good uh you have nice ratchet at the legs you have that knee band and again that this one i don't fold oh wait i could have why didn't i do it oh it's because of that yeah okay i leave them like this because this joint here is supposed to go inside more and but it's a pain to move around and it's really tight and i don't want to force it and break it so i usually just put the uh i don't completely hide the wheel i leave it like that in the back it doesn't show that much so i don't have to f fiddle with this too much uh and then you have a ball joint uh here for the foot so it rotates and then you have this uh, articulation because of transformation but it makes for a stable robot there you go so here's long haul in robot mode love the paint the headlights that little stairway like i mean this is typical from what you see in mines open pit mines uh, you have those huge trucks uh, and it takes the stairs to get to the cabin and i find this fantastic and now for some size comparison let's uh, compare him again with masterpiece sunstreaker uh, ko studio series 86 sludge and leader class siege ultra magnus and you can see he's still bigger that's like i said ultra piece there's masterpiece there's ultra piece and i'm locking the camera and now that this is out of the way we're going to do well i'm going to do transformation off camera and uh i'll be back in a minute and here we are with long haul in truck mode and i love it uh, he's a little loose like the uh the back doesn't uh, peg properly so there's something here that basically there's clips to hold the gun and they don't clip uh, very well uh, and then this keeps falling down here that's the hand basically it just kind of sits there or maybe i forgot to clip something maybe let me check no it doesn't seem to be any clips but i mean it holds and it's a fantastic truck rolls really good rubber tire again yep uh, the front end looks amazing, the cabin, uh, the stairs, the little uh, extra uh, steps here, uh, ladder, looks really good. Uh, you can almost lift it for the, to check the hood, but under the hood. I love the light, the painting is good, the color scheme works fantastically with this figure. He's really good. Let's do some size comparison with... Uh, I know, I'm boring, always Nemesis Prime, but... Yeah, he's there, he's transformed, so I'm gonna use it. Siege Starscream and Fire Tox's Roller. All right, now I'm going to take a moment and put him in pants mode. Uh, and he's a little finicky, but it worked. Be right back. So here's pants mode. My only issue is that because the legs are separated, there's no more place to hide the gun. So... I don't know, I'll put it somewhere. But no big deal. Um, and then he doesn't stand because those uh, little foot... Those are the pegs that are going to go into uh, Scrapper and uh, Mixmaster. Uh, and I like this uh, this mode. I mean, it does the job. It doesn't look goofy like um, Combiner Wars, where there's like little tiny joints holding huge robots. Like they skip leg day or something. And this is going to be fantastic with hook on top of him and everything i can't wait to show this to you guys it's going to be pretty awesome so there you go i'm going to lay him down sorry this is undignified position but here's my final thoughts 
I love uh, Long Haul. Uh, great character. Love the details on this figure. The stylized version is really worth it. I cannot recommend this guy enough and this whole set enough. It's pretty fantastic. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you've enjoyed this number four review of the Genbao series. I hope you've uh, you liked it. If you did, please like, subscribe and hit the bell. Also leave a comment. I love reading those. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care.